Rashford scooping this one up for Wilfred Zaha as well. Zaha puts it back in for Sancho and Sancho with a header and Leicester City make it 1-0. Here goes Marcus Rashford on the attack, breaking through. Go on Rashford, chance for him to score a second of the game. Marcus Rashford 1v1 and the guy's a lethal finisher. Goes near post, finesse shot. So here we are back again with another episode of the Leicester City Career Mode series. This is episode number 41. The Champions League returns as we're going to have the first leg of the round of 16 tie against Bayer Leverkusen in today's episode as we play them away from home. So excited to have the Champions League back as last season we reached the final but we couldn't win the competition. This season we are aiming to go all the way but first we need to get past Bayer Leverkusen. We've also got a chance to win a trophy in today's episode as we play Watford in the Carabao Cup final, which I'm hoping we can win. Last season, we won the Carabao Cup. This season, let's make it two out of two. So the second half of our season begins in today's episode. We've got Champions League action, a cup final, Premier League games as well. It should be fun. And if you guys are enjoying the series, let's keep the support coming in. 2,000 likes would be brilliant as always. And if you are new around here, subscribe for more. FIFA 20 career mode content. Also a quick announcement, PES 20 content will be returning to the channel tomorrow as we'll be starting a brand new PES Become a Legend series which I'm really excited for and hopefully you guys are as well. Press conference time and if you guys want to see your questions being answered in the videos make sure to drop them down in the comment section below. First one of the day, have you ever considered doing another My Player career mode on this channel? On FIFA 20, yes, we are definitely going to be doing a My Player career mode at some point, probably towards the end of this FIFA cycle. So maybe in June or July, we'll be starting one like we've done for the past couple of years because it's a good series to do at that time when FIFA career mode isn't really doing well on YouTube because everybody's just excited about the new FIFA. So that is the plan. That is when you guys are going to be getting a My Player career mode series on this channel. But we are going to start a My Player series over on PES tomorrow, so that should be fun as well. It's called Become a Legend, and I've heard good things about that game mode, so I'm actually excited. So that's the plan. Next question play Danny Olmo at right mid to cover for Jaden Sancho. So, Sancho in the last episode suffered a broken ribs injury, and with that, he's not going to be available for the next six weeks. And now it'll still take him four weeks to recover. So he is going to miss the Champions League round of 16 games against Bayer Leverkusen for us, which really sucks. Now, the thing with Danny Olmo is he'd be amazing in that right midfield role. We know he can play there, but the thing is that T Elements is currently injured and he'll still take a couple of months to recover. And that means we need Danny Olmo to play in that midfield. So the only option we've got is Samuel Chukweze and we need to trust in him to deliver in this moment of absence of Sancho. So this is Chukweze's time to shine. Last episode, he was actually really good with a couple of important assists against Brighton and I'm hoping he can keep this up. So this is Chukweze's moment to shine. Next question, why do you think Ndidi is growing up so slowly? In my Arsenal career, he grew to 86 overall after first season without any training sessions. I don't know man, I have absolutely no idea. Ndidi in the third season of this career mode is 86 rated and the thing is he's been in great form so I don't understand why dynamic player potential hasn't kicked in and his overall isn't higher than this. He's still amazing in game, don't get me wrong, some of his stats are just outrageous but I would have loved to see Ndidi being like extremely high rated. He's still gone up by two ratings this season though which isn't all that bad but this is what I like about career mode now. Every career mode has players at different ratings which just keeps things fresh like my NDD might be 86 rated and as you guys are saying your NDDs could be like 90 rated or something it just keeps things fresh and that's what I like about dynamic player potential in FIFA 20. But that's it for today's press conference. Let's move on. Marcus Rashford for the second episode in a row has ended up winning the player of the episode award. Can't say I'm surprised. Last episode he scored quite a few goals in the Premier League for us as he's now on five goals in the Prem this season which is actually incredible and no wonder you guys voted for him as your player of the episode. Looking to make more progress with our season goals in today's episode. Goals from Sancho, Werner and Zaha would be amazing. Also clean sheets in the Premier League. I'll take that. 
any time of the day and also we might be able to complete the future star objective by giving Ian Morgan a couple of appearances so I'm hoping we can get that done. It's actually annoying how unlucky we've been with injuries this season. Two of our first team players in Tielemans and Sancho out with long term injuries. Of course Sancho will be back in another month but Tielemans is going to take a couple of months to recover. That is frustrating. Hopefully we'll have them for the latter stages of the season. So we start off today's episode with Champions League action as Leicester City go up against Bayer Leverkusen away from home. Now we are definitely favourites to make it to the quarterfinals but at the same time we cannot underestimate the German side. It's away from home, anything can happen. We need to try and get as many away goals as possible to give us an advantage for that second leg. Leverkusen are doing alright in the Bundesliga being fourth in the league but as they are fourth they shouldn't really pose much of a threat to us and we should take advantage of that. The Champions League knockout rounds begin now as Leicester City face Bayer Leverkusen away from home and this is the team that I've gone for. Chukwese comes in for Sancho because of the injury. Dani Olmo keeps his spot in midfield. Rashford up top. Zaha starts. Madison the captain this side. Tuanzebe keeps his place at the back. Varan, Onana. It's a very strong Leicester City side. We want to try and wrap up this tie in the first leg itself. Could we be seeing another epic Champions League night as we're up against Bayer Leverkusen in the round of 16 and this is the team they've got. They've got Diego Costa on the bench which is interesting. Look at their formation man, three at the back, they're going with such an attacking team. Kai Havertz, Leon Bailey, Murata. I mean I've never seen a team play such kind of an attacking formation against me. Hopefully that won't be phasing our team but... That's incredibly weird. I mean, what kind of a formation that is, is that I'm confused. But anyways, that's the Leverkusen team. Let's go out there and try and beat them. Here's Ben Chilwell. I see Rashford making a good run. It's a beautiful ball to Marcus Rashford, who's 1v1. Champions League, Rashford. Let's go, guys. Leicester City make it 1-0. And it's that man, Marcus Rashford. The new signing we made in the winter trans window. Coming up clutch for us in the Champions League as well. That is why we've signed him, to give us that X factor in the attack and he's doing exactly what we've asked him to do, scoring in important games as Rashford makes it 1-0 for us against Bayer Leverkusen. Also, what about that run from Ben Chilwell coming in from that left back role, bringing the ball forward and playing a fantastic pass into Rashford, that was brilliant but it is Marcus Rashford who scores yet again for us in this series and this time it's in the Champions League, his first Champions League goal in a Leicester City shirt. Danny almost sees Marcus Rashford once again and here we go through on the attack, Rashford with pace. I see Zaha making a good run, releasing it for Wilfred Zaha, should be a goal for Leicester City and we've hit by Leverkusen with the double whammy as they say. Leicester lead 2-0 against Leverkusen, 2-0 guys within 18 minutes. That is actually mad and we're playing away from home. Leverkusen cannot handle the pace our attack possesses, I mean, it's actually ridiculous. Rashford is so quick, Zaha is so quick, the cutback was an easy way to score and Leicester make it 2-0 within 20 minutes. This is actually mad. Two away goals within the first 20 minutes of the game, I wasn't expecting this to happen. I've got to say guys, this formation that Leverkusen are using is just so easy to play against. You win the ball back and all you've got to do is play a through ball to your striker and he's going to run down and abuse his space and well, it's an easy way to score. I haven't played a formation in this series that is just so easy to play against. Here we now go. This is what I'm talking about guys. It is so easy to create chances against this formation Leverkusen are using. Like this is just too simple. Chukwese goes for goal. Danny Olmo on the rebound. That's a big save from Rudecki. And I think Olmo was onside as well. Fair play man. He's keeping them in this tie. But now Cross comes in and cleared away. We might still have another chance. Here's Madison. Flicks it up. Goes for goal. But it's blocked and Leverkusen survive. Madison sees Ndidi, now it is Marcus Rashford gets past one, still Rashford goes down inside the box, ref that's got to be a penalty, how is that not a penalty, that was a clear bad challenge from one of the Leverkusen players, referee, half time in this one and I've got to say this has been the easiest Champions League knockout game I've literally ever played in this series because Leverkusen have barely done anything, their formation is so easy to break down and things are going incredibly well for us, so let's keep it up. Here goes Chukwese on the attack, go on, we once again opened up the Leverkusen defence, it should be a goal for us, but it's genuinely too easy here, like, what are Leverkusen doing with their tactics? It's actually abysmal to play this way in a Champions League game. They're literally going all out attack every time they get the ball with five people bombing forward, a midfielder is going forward as well. 
and then they just leave three defenders and we're literally pace abusing them every time we get on the counter. Rashford scores yet again a brace for him in this one. It's just too simple. Let's get this tie done in the first leg itself. Chukweze releasing a Ricardo Pereira and here we go on the attack once again. I'm going to try an early cross and it's actually worked out well. Zaha with the header but he couldn't really get any sort of direction or even proper power on it. Still 3-0 Leicester City but we're dominating this game and look at what are they doing man. This is actually horrendous. Did you guys see that? The goal kick hitting Boateng's head. Like what even is this Leverkusen team? They are the worst team I've faced in the Champions League knockout rounds in this series. Chukweze releases Ricardo Pereira who's pushing forward as well. Cross comes in now for Marcus Rashford's hat-trick and he gets himself a hat-trick in the Champions League. What a signing this has turned out to be man. The guy performs on every important game for us. He's doing it in the Premier League. He's doing it now in the Champions League as well. A hat-trick in the knockout rounds. I know Leverkusen are terrible but it's still a momentous moment for Marcus Rashford here. Ricardo Pereira grabbing the assist for this one. Our fullbacks were really good in this game. I think Chilwell provided one assist and now Pereira as well but a hat-trick goal here from Marcus Rashford. Danny Olmo releasing this one for Rashford and his pace is just too good. Here goes Marcus Rashford now 1v1. Should be a goal for Rashford. It is 4 for Marcus Rashford. Wow he's now scored a poker against Bayer Leverkusen. That is 4 goals from Marcus Rashford. That is insane guys. In the Champions League. I know Leverkusen are shocking but still 4 goals in a Champions League game. Incredible scenes from Rashford. The guy is such a good, good player in this game and I'm so glad we signed him. Full time and we have destroyed this abysmal by Leverkusen side. Well to be fair they did use the worst formation I've ever seen on FIFA to be fair so you can't really complain. The result is just unfair. We absolutely dismantled them. Rashford scoring 4 goals and grabbing an assist. What a performance from the Englishman. Rashford was unstoppable today. Any comments? Well, I, I cannot believe he's actually scored four goals in a single game. That's the first time in this series I think we've had a player scoring four times and well, he is a superstar. So we are basically through to the Champions League's quarterfinals. I cannot see a team like Bayer Leverkusen mounting a comeback against us. So let's now focus on the Premier League. We're still third in the league with Man City and Liverpool being above us. Our next game is against Southampton who are struggling in the league in 16th place. So this should be a game which we should be winning. We simulated this one against Southampton and we do get ourselves a 3-0 win which is lovely to see. Madison scoring a brace and Varane getting on the score sheet as well. Also a clean sheet in the Prem is always welcome. City and Liverpool guys are showing no signs of dropping points and it's so frustrating. The only way we can go ahead of them is by beating them and we do have games left against both Liverpool and City and I think those are the games that are going to decide who wins the Premier League. Good God, look at this. Our final game of the Premier League season is against Manchester City at the Etihad. That could potentially be the most insane Premier League title decider of any of my career modes so far. That's going to be mad. For now though, it's an opportunity for us to win a trophy. Last season, we won the Carabao Cup beating Liverpool. This season though, we're up against Watford. A chance to win our second trophy of this series and I don't want this to go away. We need to get this trophy in the bag. Leicester City versus Watford. We're playing at Wembley. Let's go out there and get this trophy for the Leicester fans. Will Watford have an aggressive approach? I think yeah, because technically we are definitely superior to Watford. So the only way they can compensate that is by being physically very strong. But I think we've got some quality midfielders in the team that should help us cope with whatever Watford goes with. Even though it's a cup final and a lot's on the line, I feel like we owe the likes of Haaland, Barnes, Chukweze, Ian Morgan, Soyunku and everyone who's helped us get to this Carabao Cup final and that's why I'm starting all of these youngsters. It's going to be big for them to get experience in a cup final like this. So Dean Henderson in goal, Todibo starts, we've got James Justin, Nuno Tavares, Ian Morgan playing a cup final. Really excited to see how he performs there. I'm still going with a strong midfield so we can control the game. Madison and Olmo in there. Haaland starts up front, Barnes and Jukwesi on either side. And if things go haywire, we do have options on the bench. So that's the Leicester team we're using. Let's go out there and win this cup final. Looks like Watford are definitely going with the defensive approach, playing a five at the back formation. They do have a good strike force of Kudron and Batshuayi, so this might prove to be an interesting game. Let's go and win the tournament. On the attack we go, I'm waiting for Barnes to make that run. He brings it inside brilliantly and we could be having an early goal here. Here's Haaland 1v1 and no, he's missed his chance. Maybe I should have gone for the cutback to Chukweze, but... 
Haaland has to be scoring that an early chance gone begging in the Carabao Cup final. Here's Madison once again and we go on the attack looking to hit back at Watford. Now it's Haaland, a chance for him to make amends on his mistake. Haaland goes for goal and it's 1-0 Leicester City. Right now we're in unstoppable form. No team can come near us as Leicester City make it 1-0 against Watford Cup Final. We are going for that second trophy of this series. Madison with a lob through ball to Haaland and this time he does not disappoint. A fantastic half volley with that left foot of his and the Norwegian striker has put Leicester City 1-0 up in this Cup Final. Olmo looks for Haaland, it's a beautiful pass and Haaland is off the crossbar, no! That pass came out of nowhere to Haaland, he reacted well with the chip shot but the finish was just a bit high and well it came off the crossbar but we're looking really good in this game. Let's keep attacking and trying to increase the goal difference. Once again Haaland on the ball who looks to be in great form, Haaland goes for goal from a difficult angle and he's put it in! Erling Braut Haaland with a potential goal of the season right there. Incredible scenes. We are toying with Watford in this cup final now. I mean, this is incredible. Haaland, how has he pulled that off? A long shot from outside the box. He first did a drag back to open up some space and then bang it goes with that left foot of his and to do it in a cup final as well is just insane. Incredible scenes as Erling Braut Haaland, the Norwegian striker, has put Leicester City now in a 2-0 advantage. This is actually mad. Here's Samuel Chukweze, cross comes in, it's a decent one. Now it's Haaland who is on a hat-trick. Haaland goes for goal and forces a big save out of the keeper there. We have been relentless in this one, creating chance after chance. We've now got Watford on the attack with the Batman, Batshuayi on the charge, looking to bring Watford back into this one and they've actually got a chance here to score. Dean Henderson with a good save there. Still 2-0 Leicester City. We cannot allow Watford to get back into this game because then there could be nervy moments. Could be a chance here for Watford, this is not good and Batshuayi gets them back in at this one. And this is a tough goal to concede because I feel like we've been attacking Watford left, right and centre. And this goal has certainly come against the run of play but now, the goal difference between us and them is only one goal and we need to be careful. Let's bring on Wilfred Zaha for Harvey Barnes to give us something extra in the attack but apart from that, I don't think we're going to be making any more changes. On the attack for Asar Super Sub, releases this one for Haaland, on the turn, Haaland shoots and Haaland scores in incredible fashion. That is another hat-trick for Haaland in this series, actually back-to-back hat-tricks for us. Rashford scored a hat-trick in our previous game in the Champions League and now Haaland has scored one in the cup final. This is insane. I mean, what has Haaland just done here? In a cup final to score a hat-trick, incredible scenes. I mean, look at the control, the composure as well and the finish. This guy is just insane and I'm so glad we've signed him. Look at the talent and composure he has to actually score that. Insane. Leicester now lead 3-1 against Watford and I don't think they're going to come back from this. Let's go guys. It is done. A Haaland hat-trick helps us win our second trophy of the series. He scored in the 10th, the 28th and the 85th minute. And with that, Leicester City have won the Carabao Cup for the second time in a row. And right now we're on track. To potentially win all four trophies. We'll see how that goes but it is lovely to win the Carabao Cup once again. James Madison as captain is going to be lifting his first trophy for the club and hopefully it's the first of many Carabao Cup champions once again as Leicester City add another trophy to their list. Let's go guys we've won the Carabao Cup. And if things couldn't get any better, look at this guys, Jaden Sancho has recovered from his injury, he's back in training and expect him to be in the team for us very soon. This is lovely news to hear. Up next we've got an FA Cup tie against Sheffield Wednesday which we are going to sim with the second team and well we get ourselves the win, Chukwese and Danny Olmo scoring for us, not bad at all. And now back to the Premier League we go and we've actually got a pretty big game ahead of us as Leicester City go up against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and Chelsea are a team that we often drop points against so I'm hoping this time that won't be the case. We need to beat them to keep pace with Liverpool and City but because as I said those teams just show no signs of dropping points so we need to win against Chelsea. Chelsea versus Leicester City at the Stamford Bridge, always a tricky stadium to visit and I'm actually taking quite a big risk for this one as Sancho is playing with a bit of a knock. He's just recovered from his injury so I'm not sure if this is the right decision but I feel like we need him on the pitch if we've got any chance of beating Chelsea. We've been in great form so I'm really confident of this game. A few players not fully fit especially Danny Olmo. We'll probably have to bring him off at half time but apart from that Rashford, Madison, Zaha and Didi, Varane all starting 
we need to win this game against Chelsea. The last time we played Chelsea, they actually beat us and it was Pedro who scored a worldie against us. So this time, I'm going to be careful. We cannot allow that to happen. Politano playing in a striker position is weird. Pulisic starts. They've got former Leicester legend, I suppose, and N'Golo Kante in that midfield. They've got a decent team, but we need to win this game. Oh, Jaden Sancho could already be through on goal. And could we be seeing an early goal from Leicester City? No, Eda Militao clears this one away. Sancho trying to chip the keeper there, but couldn't pull it off. Oh, Sancho turns him then. Here he goes on the attack now, Jaden Sancho. Still, Sancho gets past one. Cut back inside to Rashford, but he couldn't get the shot off. That's once again good defending from Chelsea. We're putting so much pressure though on Chelsea now as it's Marcus Rashford. Rashford goes for goal. Oh my goodness, Marcus Rashford. This guy is insane. What has he just done there, guys? Against Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Marcus Rashford with the contender for goal of the season. Oh my god. He just scored four goals in his last game, which was in the Champions League. And now he's back to scoring in the Premier League as well. Look at this for a strike, man. He connected with it so brilliantly. And to fire that right in the top corner is just incredible. Marcus Rashford, man. This guy is just something else. Look at the trajectory of that. Kepa managed to get to it, but the power on that, it was impossible. Lampard's furious and Leicester City take the lead against Chelsea. Oh no, Chelsea looking to respond. That's actually a very good pass and this is not looking good. Ricardo Pereira can't keep up with them. Onana makes the save and on the rebound. Chelsea have a chance and thankfully it's wide. Chelsea definitely looking good ever since we took the lead and they're looking to respond. Here's Pedro, now Kovacic. Now it's this Amiri guy who tries to shoot, but Madison put in a crucial challenge and we avoided conceding there. Rashford releases Sancho beautifully as we've got a chance to potentially make it 2-0. Sancho, what even was that? Maybe it's because he's just come back from an injury, but that was an awful attempt from Jaden Sancho on his stronger right foot as well. Oh, Madison has broken through. Does he have the strength though? He brings it inside beautifully, but Konate there recovered really well. Strong challenge and he had to get that perfect. Halftime against Chelsea and things are definitely going according to plan. We've put in a great performance so far, although we've got to be careful because Chelsea are still in the game. Let's see what the second half brings. Alright guys, Danny Olmo cannot continue. His stamina is too low, so we're going to bring on Hamza Chaudhry. I know it's a bit of a defensive substitution, but we don't really have any other choice. So Hamza comes on into our midfield. Sancho looks to take it wide. Sancho stops, brings it inside. Goes for Marcus Rashford, who gets away from his man. Still Rashford. Still Marcus Rashford does brilliantly. Releases it for Sancho, who goes for goal. But he couldn't generate enough power on that, and it's a simple save for Kepa. It is now Marcus Rashford who turns this man. Here goes Rashford. Chance for him to score. Still Marcus Rashford keeps hold of the ball. Goes for goal. Madison on the rebound. And how has Kepa saved that? That's actually insane. A reflex is there from the Spaniard. Still only 1-0 Leicester City. Rashford finds Jaden Sancho. Sancho looks to get in behind. Oh, he does so successfully. Sancho releasing this one for Rashford. But Konate with a crucial interception. Keeping Chelsea alive in the game. Madison looking for Hamza Chaudhry. It is now Rashford. Oh, Rashford turns his man. Marcus Rashford 1v1. Goes for goal. Kepa again with the save. He's having a tremendous game, guys. Keeping Chelsea alive. Here goes Madison. Fake shot past one. Oh, Madison keeps it inside. Goes for goal with that right foot of his and forces a good save from Kepa. I still have no idea how this game is only 1-0 because we are creating chance after chance. Full time and we get ourselves a big win against Chelsea. We've taken revenge on them for that defeat they gave us early on this season. Rashford stunner in the first half was the difference between the two sides. But I felt like we could have scored a lot more goals in this one. But anyways, three points in the bag. Well, still no signs of dropping points for City as they're on 81 points after 29 games. At this rate, they're going to end up easily going past the 100 point mark once again. I think the game against City on the final match day is going to decide everything. Also, take a look at the top scorers in the Premier League. It's Harry Kane once again balling out for Spurs. 23 goals this season. We don't have a single player in the top 10, but we do have Madison in 13th with 11 goals. We've got Zaha with 10 goals. Sancho and Haaland with 10 as well. We've got a lot of players scoring a lot of goals for us this season. Like, it's not just one player who's scoring consistently, which I guess is better. Madison, though, is one of the top assisters in the Premier League along with Mane. 13 assists, that's mad. Next episode should be classes. We're going to have the second leg against Leverkusen. We're going to basically find out who we'll be facing in the quarterfinals. And we've got a huge Premier League game against Liverpool, which is going to be absolutely massive in the series. 
This was definitely a very productive episode for our season goals as we ended up scoring more goals with our trident and we kept a couple of clean sheets in the Premier League and also we completed the future star challenge with Ian Morgan as he's now played 15 games for us this season. Before we wrap up the episode though, time for you guys to make your vote count and vote for the player of the episode award. A couple of nominees once again, first one being Rashford, how can we not nominate him? He scored 4 goals in a Champions League knockout game for us in this episode and scored an absolute beauty against of course Chelsea in the Prem. He had to be nominated. Your second nominee, Erling Braut Haaland who scored a hat-trick in the Carabao Cup final. So two hat-trick heroes for the nominations. Click the i button to vote for either Rashford or Haaland. And that's that, another episode wrapped up of the Leicester City career mode series. Next episode, we've got Liverpool in the Premier League who are second and that's going to be an important game in the title race and I'm hoping you guys are excited for that. And if you guys are enjoying this series, let's keep the support coming in. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you want new around here and well, I'll catch you guys next time.